risk from lightning. We looked at the launcher. We're going to look inside the fairing at the satellites now. You can see the upper passenger, Hispasat. The upper passenger is separated first, and it is usually, not always, but usually the heavier satellite. It is the case tonight, 5.3 tons, as you can see there. And if you keep on going with your X-ray glasses, you can see the lower passenger, Corasat 6, inside uh, this black box that we call the Silla 5A, and which allows uh, Iron 5 to have a double launch. We are lifting eight tons tonight, 5.3 tons for Hispasat and 2.7 tons for Koreasat. And uh, only possible, of course, with the heavy lift Ariane 5, the only commercial launcher capable of lifting two big passengers. We are coming up on the two minute mark, and you'll hear the DDO call out the two minute mark and then the one minute mark. And uh, one of the last things that, that you're going to see before liftoff is the propellant feeder arms. This is a split screen shot of them. Liquid hydrogen on the left, liquid oxygen on the right. They're feeding this very cold cryogenic propellant into the upper stage and when we pull back you'll, you'll get a better shot of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to give you some numbers, you know, those fluids are extremely cold. Liquid hydrogen is about minus 240 degrees and liquid oxygen about minus 160 degrees. And you know it's hot and humid over here. You have fluids which are extremely cold and this is why we need to fill the tanks until the last possible moment, otherwise they would evaporate. All right, the last possible moment for you. We're coming down on a minute. Samir is going to head out. Do you still want to go out on the balcony? Yes, I'm still uh... All right, he has never seen a launch from here, folks. So he's going to go out on one of the two terraces on either side of uh, Jupiter here. And uh, when he comes back after liftoff, we'll have some impressive... À cause de radio, attention pour moins une minute. We'll have his uh, impressions. Some fresh feelings. Hot makes for some good radio comments. Top. One minute. All See right. you soon, Josh. Okay, enjoy it. Don't get lost now. Try and find your way back. The uh, ignition sequence, we're into the final 60 seconds. Other people in the, uh, the United Vest invited guests here making their way out to the uh, terraces as well. You see the yellow bars right in the center of the screen. Those are the feeder arms we talked about. At minus five seconds, the DDO will be calling out 10, 9, 8, 7. When he gets to five, that's 5, of course, in French. Those arms will pull back. Watch for that, because that starts the entire process. At zero, you'll hear allumage, which is ignition, and then you'll see the main engine light, but we don't lift off for seven seconds because the computers are checking the performance in the main engine. And if all is well, they give the signal to light the At boosters. Tous les and we're Attention off. Pour le décompte final. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. We'll be back after Arian has cleared the tower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage des EAP et décollage. So with only a 24-hour delay, which is nothing in the space business, uh, Ariane lifting off from French Guiana, powering her way up through the clouds into the clear sky. You see over the beaches and over the forest here. Our cameraman, uh, René Zamora, out on the terrace with, uh, with the guests and with uh, Samir taking these fine shots, always very impressive. 775 tons is the mass at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. We're still being able to follow her by the naked eye. Maybe we'll be able to see the uh, separation of the boosters. The skies are clear enough. She's burning now five tons of fuel every second. That's two and a half tons of fuel in each booster. And the core stage is burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second, roughly equivalent to a dozen Airbuses, if you're keeping score. She's following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including all the separations of the stages, which you'll see shortly. The DDO calling out that all is on, on board is okay. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last isn't. We'll give you a description of each in turn so you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic where she'll separate the two satellites. Right now, the first flight phase, the single core stage engine is burning and the two boosters are burning. 
Boosters will burn in just over two minutes each, and they're the first to be extinguished. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone as well. All is going well on board. In a few seconds, you will probably be able to see the flame out of the two boosters on either side. It's not every day that we can see that. There looks like the flame out of the boosters. Separation, Separation of the boost, you'll see them fall away. Samir is back. Your eyes it, are glowing. Like dinner plates, you can see that like on my face, I, I guess. Enough. It was amazing, Josh. Uh, you know, the two things impressed me. It was the light and the vibration. And you are so close uh, that uh, you can still the, uh, feel the, you can feel, sorry, the platform was shaking. Was it really shaking? It was really shaking. And people around were clapping their hands. Everyone was... Uh, well, it's amazing. <laughs> Super. All right. Thank you for that. You can see uh, the uh, air end continuing to burn. The two boosters have dropped away, done their job. We're into the second of the uh, flight phases now. It's a single engine burning. Samir, now that you're back, I need you to explain on the left-hand side of the screen, on the upper left, there's a curve, and on the bottom, there's some figures. So on the on the upper left of your screen, you have um, you have a, a curve, sorry, which is giving the prediction, the the, the trajectory was we we have predicted. Okay, the um, fairing has just been separated right on time. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a white spot. Uh,